St. Paul Regional Water Services. How can I help you today? Hi, calling about my high uh, water bill. This bill is through the roof. All right. Could you provide me with your account number so I can look up your account here? Uh, my account number is 131355. All right. I have your account here and I do see that the last billing you got was for 21 units of water. And this time it was for 66 units of water. Yeah, that's just not right. It's just the wife and I here and we don't have any, uh, any leaks or anything. I've checked my toilets. All right, if nothing has changed since last billing cycle, that means that there is potentially a leak or water running somewhere on your property. Okay, how can I find it? Okay, what I'll ask you to do is go down to the basement and locate our meter. The meter will have a white face on it and it says Neptune Ecoder. You will need a flashlight to trigger the meter to turn on for you. Shine the flashlight directly at the face of the meter. That will trigger it to turn on for you. Yep, it turned on. All right, it will show you a few different numbers there. Yep. We're going to look for the rate. It will be a four-digit number. Okay, I see a nine-digit number. Give it a few more seconds. The rate will be next. Okay. Yep, I see a rate meter. Uh, right. It's a 0 0.414. Perfect. That means that there is, right at this moment, water running somewhere on your property. I, I, I don't have any water running on my property. Uh, nothing's leaking, but... All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the process of elimination and turn off some of your water sources. Do, how many toilets do you have in on the property? Uh, we've got two toilets, one downstairs and one on the main level. Okay, if you're downstairs in the basement now, if you would go to that toilet and turn it off behind the toilet. All right, what you're going to do is on the left-hand side of the toilet, you will see a shut-off valve. You'll turn that valve and flush the toilet. Oh, I see it underneath there? Yep. Okay, and uh, I shut that off? Yes, sir. All right. All right, I shut it off. Can you flush the toilet? That's to ensure that the valve is actually off. Okay, I flushed the toilet. And I do not hear it running. All right, that means that it's not filling back up and that that valve is secure. If you could make your way back to the meter, okay. we're going to check to see if that rate has changed. Okay. No, rate hasn't changed. It's still 0 0.414. All right, that means it's not that toilet that's the cause of the problem. Could you make your way to the next toilet? I can hear something running on this one. All right, that could be the fill-up um, in the back of the toilet. Okay, uh, you want me to shut this one off too? Yes, please. The shut-off okay. valve should be on the left-hand side similar to the other one. Okay. You will flush this toilet as well. Okay. Okay, I don't hear it running now. Perfect. If you could make your way back down to the basement, we're going to look at that rate one more time here. Okay. Okay, the rate says 0 0.000. Um, what does that mean? That means that that last toilet you just turned off was the cause of that leak. What we suggest at this point is you to get that fixed as soon as possible and then double check your meter in a few days just to make sure that that leak indicator is gone. All right, and what, what do I have to do to fix the toilet? All right, that could be, it could be one of two things. It could be the flapper or the fill valve or both. Um, it's pretty simple. You can either do it yourself or you can hire a professional to help you with that. All right, well, it looks like I found it. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Bye now. Huh. Leak flag's gone. Rate's still at zero, zero, zero. Looks like we caught it. Honey, I think we found it. 